I'm Insomniac, and this is the Pagani Design PD2769. Alright, well a big shout out to Anthony for sending this in. If you've been watching the channel recently, you know that he's sent in a lot of the watches that have been reviewed on the channel recently, so big shout out to him. Hit the like button, show Anthony some love. Okay, so the Pagani, I already forgot what this is, PD2769. If you didn't see my review on the PD1164, uh, which is basically a Daytona clone, or I'm sorry, Daytona homage. Some people got really pissed off that I said clone. It's a version of, anyway, let me not, let me not get into that. But definitely check that out if you haven't seen it. It turned out to be a surprising review. And based on some of the things I've already read about this watch, I'm assuming that this is gonna turn out to be a surprising review as well. Before we get into the usual sections of my reviews, let me point out the obvious here. This is a homage to the Panerai Radiomir, I guess is how you would say that. If I said that wrong, please forgive me. Panerai has a solid case back as opposed to the exhibition style case back on this one, which of course I'll show you up close in a minute. And this Pagani has a dial mounted balance wheel uh, where the Panerai that it's modeled after does not. Other than that, this is a tribute to the Panerai that I mentioned earlier. What's most surprising here though, is that according to my research, the Pagani design, forgive me, I can't remember most of these numbers here, FB5202 automatic movement that's in this watch is apparently an in-house movement. For those of you who don't know, that means that Pagani actually developed, designed, and built the movement that's in this watch. That's not uncommon in general in watches, but in watches in this price range, that's fairly uncommon. And once you see what this watch costs, you might wind up scratching your head trying to figure out how Pagani is to doing what they're doing and making any kind of profit. Last but not least, before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I have a lot of new watch reviews on the way soon. I don't want you to miss any of them. And that's it. Let's get into the watch piece by piece. The case on this watch is one of the few things that in my opinion, reflect the price point of this watch. The entire case is polished and it has a high degree of even shine to it, but the machining is kind of soft and just okay. This is especially apparent where the lugs meet the case, where it kind of has a bit of cheap molded look to it. You have an exhibition case back showing off the gold tone FB5202 Pagani automatic movement with various information about the watch engraved around the outer edge. The crown on this watch is pretty nice, has a great shape to it, similar of course to the Panerai it's modeled after. It has moderately good grip for winding and setting the watch and you have the Pagani design logo in the face of the crown. My one criticism here though is that based on the size and height of this case, uh, this crown should actually be a little bit larger in order to be proportionately correct. Overall though, it's a nice looking case. The dial on this piece is extremely simple and uncluttered, not unlike the Panerai it's modeled after. It's a sandwich dial, which means you have this flat black dial with cutouts for the hour markers and numerals, and underneath that black dial you have a loom disc which shows through the cutouts creating a solid contrast between the markers and numerals against the black dial. You have a small subdial of sorts with a running second hand at 9 o'clock. Under the 12, you have the Pagani design text, which interestingly enough looks similar enough to a Panerai text that at a quick glance, one could think that this actually says Panerai on the dial. Of course, it doesn't. One of the biggest deviations from the Panerai this watch is modeled after is the large mounted balance wheel at 6 o'clock, which by the way, it's worth mentioning that on the Pagani design site, uh, they try to be slick and list Turbion as one of the features of this watch. Um, no. It's mounted in the manner that you might see a Turbion mounted on some watches, uh, but make no mistake, that's just a balance wheel. Regardless, it actually looks pretty nice on this dial, adding some mechanical charm to the relatively plain Panerai style aesthetic. Last but not least, you have the hands, which are all done in polished steel with large loom fillings for the hour and minute hands, with a small loom filling inside the little second hand, and they're all the perfect lengths for their respective dials. One interesting stylistic choice here though is the split in the hour hand. Doesn't bother me at all, but it's interesting that they added that, as if Panerai said you can use an almost identical handset, but you better have a break in the loom in one of those hands or we're gonna sue. 
that's probably not how it went, but that's the story that came to mind. Overall, it's a handsome dial, and I actually like Pagani's addition of a dial-mounted balance wheel. Very cool. Sandwiched under the black dial, you have loom for all of the hour markers and numerals, all three of the hands have loom fillings, and the sub-dial for the small seconds hand has loom at every quarter. At first glance, with a full charge, this loom looks impressive. There's a lot of loom, and it all glows fairly bright and even. The problem is that the loom inside the hands fades fast, and the loom on the dial really doesn't last that long either, so it's a bit of a tease. So it has loom everywhere you want it, and it works, but it really doesn't last very long. Time at a glance on this piece is perfect, with the exception of one flaw that really isn't Pagani's fault. As I'm sure you've already noticed, there are no minute markers of any kind. Now, as I've said 50 times already, this watch is an homage to a Panerai, uh, which also doesn't have any minute markers, so I didn't expect to see any here. In fact, minute markers on this dial would actually look kind of strange based on my familiarity with the dial this watch is modeled after, but regardless, it's not exactly effortless to tell the exact time to the minute without minute markers. Otherwise, the hands and markers on the dial contrast perfectly against the black main dial, and the hands are a perfect length for this dial, so time at a glance is still pretty good. Before I throw this on the scope and read the accuracy of the movement, I have to point out an unfortunate flaw of this movement. Take a close look at the second hand. Not only does it stutter a bit, but it actually stops occasionally. So regardless of whether or not that actually affects the accuracy or it's just a visual defect with this particular piece, I have to subtract a few points for that. It looks pretty terrible. The strap on this watch is a big, beefy, thick, wide black leather strap with an unbelievably large buckle with the Pagani design text engraved into it. Honestly, the only thing I hate about this strap is that buckle. I will concede that it doesn't look terrible aesthetically, being that the case is so large and bold, but still a 35 millimeter wide buckle. Anyway, moving past that, despite this strap being so thick, I actually found it to be plenty pliable, pretty comfortable and it balances this fairly large watch on the wrist perfectly throughout the day. So again, minus the buckle, it's a nice strap. Last but not least, we have value. And before I get to the actual price, uh, keep in mind the obvious thing here, which is that if you're not a fan of wearing homage pieces that look like actual, much more expensive name brand watches, then obviously no matter what it costs, this probably isn't for you. But also keep in mind that if you like the Panerai aesthetic, the watch that this is modeled after as of the time of this video costs around $5,000. This watch has a fairly solid build quality, an in-house automatic movement, and some of the extras that we talked about over the Panerai. And don't anyone lose your mind, I'm not saying that this has more stuff and or is necessarily better than a Panerai. Not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that uh, Pagani decided to jazz their version of that Panerai up a bit. But all of that for $99.98. That's right, as of the time of this video, this watch is for sale on the Pagani Design website for under $100. And based on what I've seen here, and the fact that I have no idea how they're making any profit on this at that price, I'd say it's an awesome value. Again, as long as you don't mind wearing a Panerai homage piece. Another big shout out again to Anthony for sending this in. Uh, this is definitely an interesting watch, especially for the price. So I was happy to have it here. If you have one of these, definitely leave a comment down below. Let everybody else know what you think of it. And yeah, stay tuned. I have a ton more watch reviews. That wasn't grammatically correct, was it? Anyway, I have a lot more watch reviews coming soon. So keep watching. See you next time.